good morning and welcome to the channel what a difference a day makes yesterday it was like sunny and 54 degrees today it's almost sunny and like 25 degrees what's up with that come on spring hurry up and get here As we sit here on the bridge waiting to get into the U.S., I'm heading over to the post office so that I can send out one of these t-shirts to Mike at, at StreetSpeed717. He's got a huge following, 650,000 subscribers. So I'm just hoping that if I send him something and a little letter explaining what I do, that he can give us a shout out for this channel so that our small 40 subscribers can grow uh, much larger as he has a larger audience base. So hopefully that's what we can do and uh, You know, maybe we can get a shout out. Maybe not. He might just open it up and say thank you very much and move on But that's the goal. So we'll keep you up to date with this little uh, project and then you're pretty well done. Yeah. Well, body work anyways. Yeah. Well, you got, yeah, you got the... Uh, I suppose you got those trim rings for the windows you got to do too. Yeah. I almost should get a can of silver mixed up. As far as the color, color goes. Using that gun, like just doing this here, yeah. you waste more paint in the air than you oh, do yeah. that. So you mean like spray bomb it? You spray bomb the, the trim pieces. Well, we've, we've, had, we've had good luck with the spray bombs doing touch ups on fenders and stuff like that. You can clear go with the spray bomb exposure. Inside of it shouldn't matter too much. You can know, you walk the clear coat right to as many as much area. as you want. It's just so thin that you can't seem to get quite the same as you can looking over the gun. Yeah. But this here is going to be hard to do with those without getting runs, isn't it? Yeah. Light coats, and light coats and lots of them. Getting ready to get the wipers put in it too. So he's getting some uh, of the piping in where the rod goes through. And that was part of the challenge was getting them uh, plumbed down in through there. And this little pocket right here, I guess, is where we're going to mount it. You see that he's got the speakers mounted quite uh, quite solid too, so that when you grab a hold of them and slam that door, it's not going to bounce all over the place and ruin the uh, ruin the upholstery work that we did. So it's such a nice day out today that I thought that I would come out and check some of the snow banks to see if maybe the keys to the Kia Soul might come out of a snow bank here somewhere, but so far, no luck.
when it idles so low it wants to stall. One of the worst things about spring coming in the higher temperatures is that when the snow does begin to melt, it looks bad. Sadie, come on, let's do your business so I can go to work. So without all the snow on it, you can get a better look at how badly I damaged the stairs. You know, put a great big split right across there. Got a couple boards I got to replace. Yeah, one right there that's starting to rot out too. So, be a perfect opportunity to rebuild and start over. So little did I realize I've been driving around this Pathfinder all winter, and the license has run out about a month ago. So we're heading into the local DMV to rectify the problem. So we've got our new stickers and we'll put those on so we don't get pulled over for expired registration. Because that's never a good thing. Okay guys. Got a really neat story to tell you. Um, years ago, when I had parts shipped to the US, to my US address, it was at my father-in-law's garage. And that's been a long time ago. So I get a phone call letting me know that I have a package there. I thought that was strange because I don't have anything shipped there and I haven't had anything shipped there probably in like 10 years. So anyways, long story short, I get over, I pick up the package and much to my surprise, it's a Valentine. And I'm really not sure from who or from what, because when I check the shipping label, although it says my name and the address, it has an old phone number of mine from like 10 years ago. And inside of it, it had a card. And the card says, for you, sister, because you're awesome. So first of all, in case you guys haven't noticed, the beard kind of gives it away, but I'm not a sister. But I do like free things. And as I open it up, there's a box of heart-shaped chocolates. There is a package of blueberry lemon biscotti. And what looks to be a heart-shaped ceramic or glass bowl of some sort. So I'm gonna open it up. I just love surprises. A heart-shaped bowl. Which I can only assume is to put in my heart-shaped candies. and my biscotti. Anyways, I'm going to indulge. We'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this little story. So before you guys get a little upset saying, you know, you should try and reach out and contact this guy, I did. I've sent him a Facebook message. I'm not touching the candy until I can get a hold of him. So having said that, I'll keep you updated on that. If you like what you see, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, click this button right here. And if you want to watch more videos, Click the one below it. Thanks again and have a great day.